What is up guys, Alex from Anna Creates here, and today's video I have five tips to help you work faster and more efficient on your Mac, get the most out of your Mac, with these features that are hidden in plain sight. Let's get into it. So recently I made a video, which I'm going to link up here, to help you optimize your workspace and your work environment around your computer, as well as in your computer, with different shortcuts and different softwares on your computer. But what I want to expand on that I touched on in that video is actual Mac OS X hacks or shortcuts that are built right in to help you work more efficiently and make sure that you're actually using them and getting the most out of them like they're designed for. Also stick around to the end of the video because I have a bonus tip for you that involves a piece of software that's not built into your Mac, but it will help improve your workflow and your organization and just your overall usefulness of your Mac dramatically. So stick around for that. So the first shortcut is kind of a pair of shortcuts, but they're very similar. So I kind of put them together. Anyway, what it is is a certain swiping motions on your trackpad Pad, whether that be the trackpad built into your laptop or an external trackpad. If you don't have a trackpad, some of these can be applied in different ways using hot corners or shortcuts. So just be aware of that. I'm not gonna go into that today, but let me know in the comments below if you would like to know more about that. So the first of these shortcuts is the three finger swipe left and right. What this does is it allows you to switch between different full screen applications or your different desktops. Now using multiple desktops or using full screen applications can really help with distraction or really help with multitasking and just getting the most out of your screen. So all you have to do is put three fingers at the same time on your trackpad and swipe. There's no clicking, there's no nothing else. But what it's gonna do is gonna do this. Three fingers, swipe. And it's just gonna go to the next full screen application. If you have another desktop, it'll go to the other desktop and you can go back the other way. But this is a very easy way to go between different full screen applications. I highly recommend using them. Now the next shortcut goes right along with that and that is the three finger swipe up. So if you go to your desktop and you just take three fingers and swipe up, what it's gonna do is it's gonna reveal all the different windows that you have open all on the screen at once. Another thing it's gonna reveal is at the top here, you can see all of the desktops that you have that you were swiping with three fingers back and forth between, but you can either go right to them or you can minimize that application right from here, or you can just see what applications you have open and in what order they're in and rearrange them if you wanted to put an app closer to another app to swipe back and forth much easier. Now, one more thing that it allows you to do with the multiple desktops is you can then click on any other window, click and drag and then drop it and you can see this little plus button that appears and I can drop it and make a split full screen view of those two applications. And once you're in it, you can just go to the middle here and resize the two different windows if you need a bit more on one or a bit less on the other. This is really, really handy for using like Safari and your notes app to take notes. So I guess that shortcut actually had like three shortcuts in it and like more of a productivity hack for you for full screen apps. Anyway, the next shortcut that I have for you is a keyboard shortcut that I find not a lot of people know exists or use on a daily basis, and that is Command and Tab. What Command Tab does is it brings up a little application switcher to be able to switch between whatever applications you have. Now to use this, you hold Command down and hit Tab. It will bring up this little app switcher and you can just keep hitting Tab to go between the applications. And when you're on the one you wanna to go to, you just release the Command button and it will bring that app to the forefront. Another thing you can do is if you're in the app switcher and you wanna go backwards through the tabs, not forwards, all you have to do is hit the tilde key, which is just above the Tab key, with command and it will go backwards through all the apps. So basically tab goes forwards, tilde goes backwards. And that'll just help you if you have a whole lot of applications open at one time. So the next shortcut that I have for you is the Spotlight Search. Now a lot of people know it as a little magnifying glass that you can find up on the menu bar at the top left hand corner. If you click on it, it brings up Spotlight Search. But there's another way to access it and that is through a keyboard shortcut because you know I love those. If you go to the little apple and go to system preferences and then go to spotlight right there and then you go down to keyboard shortcuts, it'll bring up the keyboard shortcuts for spotlight and here you can see if it's turned on and what the keyboard shortcut is. By default, it is command spacebar, but because that is a shortcut that I use in Pro Tools all the time, I remapped it to option spacebar. Now, why do I use this? I actually use this to launch applications. Hitting a shortcut, having a window pop up, typing the first few letters of the application you want, 
and then hitting enter and it will open. You learn how many letters you have to type for each application as well as Spotlight learns your behavior so it becomes very accurate. So for me, if I wanted to go to Pro Tools, I hit option spacebar for you that might be command spacebar and type pro right there, pro tools, I hit enter, it opens pro tools. Just a very easy and quick way to find the applications that you want without cluttering up your dock with every application you ever wanna open and also not having to go search in your applications folder for all those applications. Now the next workflow tip that I have for you has to do with the dock at the bottom of your screen. As you can tell through my videos, the dock is not actually there for me. What I have is that the dock goes away until I need it. When I need it, all I have to do is take my mouse and put it to the bottom of the screen and the dock will automatically pop up and I can find what I need. But by not having it there, I get more screen real estate out of my screen while I'm working in all of my applications. To turn this on, all you have to do is go to the Apple and the system preferences and then go to dock and then just make sure that this automatically show and hide dock setting is clicked right there. The second last workspace tip that I have for you today is scaling up my display. Now this is for all of you laptop users. You'll find this on external displays. This doesn't really work, but I actually get more screen real estate because I've scaled up my display. And I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. All you have to do is go up to the little Apple, system preferences, go to your displays right here, and then by default, it's on default for display, but I've clicked scaled and I've gone to the more space option. If I click default for display, you can see everything is slightly bigger, but if I go to scaled and hit more space, everything gets slightly smaller, but I get more space on the screen. Now this is a very small change and it might seem really weird when you first engage it. However, I guarantee that you're gonna love having a bit more screen real estate. It's just gonna look so much nicer, so much cleaner and less squishy. And to end off the video, my bonus tip that I have for you guys, and this is an application that's not built in, but I use it on a daily basis and it is called Magnet. And to put it simply, what it does is it allows you to take windows and snap them to areas of your screen very easily to easily organize what you're seeing on screen. For me, I use a lot of finder windows to organize files and this application just helps very easily organize all of those windows so they don't overlap and I can see them nicely laid out. So to organize multiple windows, I can take this one, snap it down here to the bottom corner, snap this one to this corner, snap this one to this top corner and now I have them evenly laid out so they're not really overlapping but I can see all of them nice and organized. And all it is is this little menu item right here and you can see the different ways that you can lay things out. By default, these different views have shortcuts. I didn't find I used them and I just clicked and dragged. So I removed them because they overlapped with different shortcuts that I was using, but you might find them very handy. This is not sponsored at all by them. I just love this product and use it every single day. So I wanted to share it. You can find it on the App Store. It does cost, but it is a very minimal amount and well worth the price. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below with your favorite shortcut or workflow hack that's built into the Mac that you don't think people use as often as they should. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Till then, always be creating.